Good day, kings and queens. My name is Erica, and in this video, I will show you how to use items that we are already going to toss into the trash to create beautiful home decor to spruce up your home. Now, if this is something that interests you, or if you just want to see how to turn trash into treasure to save on the environment, stay tuned. Kings and queens, I'll also show you where I'll stage these items in my home at the end. Okay, you're going to need some type of spray paint of your choice. Okay, make sure if you're doing an indoor, you're getting the indoor. I still do my outside, but that's very important. Some type of spray paint of your choice. You're going to need some type of seashells. These are very inexpensive seashells, kings and queens. You can find these almost anywhere. You will need your glue gun and your glue stick. Okay, you're gonna need, here's the trash portion that comes in. You're gonna need some toilet paper rolls. You're gonna need some Mod Podge. Now this is an added step I'll show you later. So if you don't have this, you don't have to do this step, but you need some Mod Podge. You can also pick this up at the dollar store. Some type of a brush, something to put your Mod Podge inside, and some type of glitter. Make sure it's the fine glitter. That's very important that it's not the chunky glitter. Okay, let's get right into it. Now, kings and queens, as you can see, I lined up all of my toilet paper rolls. You'll need three rolls for each decor piece, okay? And it's very important to line them up, especially if you buy different types of toilet paper because you'll have different size rolls. rolls. And you want to make sure you have the same roll for each piece. So, for instance, as you can see, this roll is a lot smaller than this roll. Therefore, I will not use this roll, okay? And as you can see, this roll is a lot fatter than this roll. Therefore, I will not use that roll. Now, I put three together already. These three rolls are about the same. So these are the three I'll be using for the first item. Also, inside of the seashells, in every bag of seashells, you'll usually get two sizes. You'll get the small one and the large one. For this project, you want to use the small one. So we're just going to, so these are the items you're going to use for the first one. Okay, and you're going to line them up. Now, these are what we're making, the table decor pieces. Now I've had these, I made these two years ago. I decided to pull them out to show you or to show you how long this trash lasts to treasure. And it's been on my table. I just want two more for my other end table. Now, as you can see, when I use the bigger ones, you have a taller, a taller one, and these are the smaller ones. See, they're bigger and smaller. Okay. So let's get into making this. Now, first thing you're going to do, you're going to take the roll and you're going to bend it, okay? Just bend it because you want to keep that bounce in, just like that, just so you can see your little indention, indentation, okay? Then after you've done that, where you have the indentation, you take your thumbs and you're gonna pull back on it. This part is very important just to take your time because you want that point to go in the center. See how it's going on my center? Now, I form my center so it came up there. See that? Both points are at the same mark. So after you form that center, then you're gonna take your hot glue gun And right where those pieces meet, right under it, is where you're going to put the glue. This will make it last for so long. Okay. And just kind of smooth it out.
now a little tip. If you want to keep that laying flat, you can have some toothpicks handy and just spread it out while it's still hot. That way you have that smooth look. Okay, just like so. I'm just going to hold that there just for a couple of minutes. Now again, as I do on most of these videos, I advise you if you're not used to the hot glue, you get you one of these little covers when you're using the hot glue. And again, these are very expensive. You can pick these up for a dollar, a couple of dollars. You get about six in a pack. But at the dollar tree, you'll get them three in a pack. Okay? And just spread it along there. And when it's not hot anymore, it's done. So that piece you put to the side. Okay? Now, you're gonna do the same exact thing with the other two. I'll do one more for you and then I'll speed it up so we get to the next step. Again, push in the center just to get that bounce. So you see that indentation? When you have that indentation, use your thumb, push it down until you get to that point. And where you see your point forming, that's when you're gonna bend up. Now, as you see there, my point wouldn't have been exactly on the right side to give it that even effect. So I'm just bending it, I'm playing with it until I get it to where I want it there. Now I have them lined up where I want them. So you can play with it a little bit and that's fine. And then I'm just tucking it in right there. Now I have that point. And again, you just take your hot glue right in the center your little finger protector if needed. Press into it. Flatten out that glue and hold it until it gets cool. And when it gets cool, you know you can just let it go and it's gonna stay just like that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. It's cool now, see? There we are. I apologize, kings and queens. You're actually going to need four rolls to complete one. So I have all four of them pulled out. Now your next step, you're going to take your four. Now this is where you're going to line them up. Okay. So the, the ones that are closer, like these two, they're, wow, that's awesome because they're almost exactly line together so you're going to take these two and pull them together so at each angle is where you're going to assemble them okay at each angle now it's important that you do it on the back angle because you still have to put that center piece which is that shell you still have to have that center piece come in so what do I mean by at the back, where the two surfaces are bulking, that's where you're going to add, join them together, because you want all four pieces to come to a point. So this will cover up that point, okay? So let's just do one, add it from here. Now this is where you put a little nice amount of glue because you want them to stick together and stay together. And it doesn't even matter if the glue is showing because that seashell is gonna cover it up anyway. Also, if you wanna keep this, you know, and have it a beach thing, that's fine. If you wanna have it in winter time, like I'm doing in my home, little silver icy winter decor, that's why I'm going to spray paint it with silver and have it glitter. But you can do this however you like, okay? So these two are already conjoined, just like so. And you want to take the third piece 
and you're not going to glue it to this one you only want to glue it to the one next to it that way it'll be able to stand up because you want the pieces to stand up on your table so what i mean by that this one is not going to touch my opposite end. it will only touch the next one to it so i'm going to take the glue and i'm going to put it here i'm not going to even put it over there Then that way it's only touching this one. Now this last piece, the last piece you're gonna play with because you you want it to touch both the first piece and the third piece. It doesn't have to touch your opposite piece. I'm going to put glue on both sides of the last piece. So it can be nice and snug inside. Let me see if I can show you that. See how it's nice and snug inside? There we are. Just hold it for a few seconds. Kings and Queens, like, share, and subscribe. Tap the notification bell so you can know every time I upload new content. I would love to have you as part of the family, okay? I do home decor, shopping hauls. Psychology is my background. I also do tips on how to be happy in spite of any situation, give you tools on that as well. Do a little cooking, do some of everything on here. And I love turning trash into treasures as well as doing collaborations. I love turning trash into treasures. I'll tap that notification bell. Okay, so it's nice and firm. Okay. So as you can see, it stands up. Now, you want to add this piece before you spray paint because you want it all to look cohesive. Now, if you're doing a beach theme, you might do this afterwards. But like I said, I'm doing a winter theme, so I'm going to put that on next. I laid it on here. I just wanted to show you all this part. So you won't have tons of glue everywhere. You want to find your points where your seashell touches. So wherever your point where your seashell touch, that's where you're going to add the glue at. Okay, so I um, added the seashell on. Now I'm going to go outside quickly and Spray paint it. It's cold here in Michigan, so I'm not going to take y'all through that. We'll just be right back and you'll see it spray painted. Okay, Kings and Queens is still drying, but at the end, I'll give you a full up close with the decor so you can see exactly how it looks. So, this particular spray paint has a little shimmer, but if you want to keep this really nice and inexpensive, you don't have to get the um, spray paint with the shimmer. Any kind of spray paint. Even the cheap kind will adhere to this type of material very, very nicely. But if you just want to up it a little bit, you can also add the glitter. Because you know that, that um, some of the spray paint is very expensive, but you can still get that look. look. Just add the Mod Podge. Very inexpensive. You know, your glitter, you can find some everywhere. Very, very. For about a dollar, you get so much glitter. Just mix you some glitter, more or less, depending on how glittery you want it. You know, and then you're going to just mix that glitter a little bit. My shell is still drying you all, so I got to be careful. And you just add the Mod Podge wherever you want the glitter. Now remember, Mod Podge is going to dry clear, so it doesn't matter. Okay? Now while that's drying, let me show you uh, the end result. Kings and Queens, this is where I staged it. Just on like my little conversation table where we sit and converse. Um, see the shimmers in it? 
these are the ones with the shimmers the other ones have the shimmers as well just a little something extra to add to the decor without spending much money have a great day kings and queens i love you like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video